House Speaker Mike Johnson is demanding President Biden take executive action to fix the crisis at our southern border immediately, calling the situation an unmitigated disaster. Every state in America is a border state right now. This administration has opened the border wide for the whole country. We have people coming in from over 170 countries, and it's at epidemic crisis proportions. You cannot overstate the humanitarian catastrophe that we have here. The GOP delegation went down to speak to Border Patrol about the unfolding crisis, only for it to unfold around them. Look, you can't make this up. You can see migrants entering our country illegally. This is just feet from where Speaker Johnson was as he spoke with reporters. And as he spoke with them, there were illegal immigrants yelling Ayuda, which means help in Spanish. And take a look there at the barbed wire. Ayuda! Ayuda! Venezuela! Venezuela! Ayuda! Por favor. So that's razor wire, stopping the migrants from entering our country. But it doesn't keep Corrine Jean-Pierre from saying this at the White House podium yesterday. Governor Abbott's uh, razor wire does not prevent. It does not prevent non-citizens from unlawfully crossing. That's not what it does. If anything, it puts at risk, it puts the lives of the Border Patrol at risk. Except we just saw that it did prevent. She also previously said walls don't work, and she had a rather interesting reason why. Instead of providing the needed resources for more border security technology and asylum officers and judges, it would waste taxpayer dollars on an ineffective wall. Again, an ineffective wall that can't even withstand heavy winds. So that's right. It's all the wind. It's the wind, the razor wire that doesn't work. And then Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, well, he had this to say about the border crisis. It's all about climate change. Border Patrol in the month of December processed more migrants entering the United States illegally than any month in the history of that agency. Why is that happening? What, how do you explain it? We have the effects of climate change, poverty, increasing level of authoritarianism, the very many challenges that are at the root cause of the displacement of people around the world. So Harris, the White House messaging is razor wire doesn't work. Let's stop Texas. Winds break down walls and climate change is the reason for what we're seeing. Uh, look, I'm going through a list of things that the former president did, uh, not the least of which is Title 42, which allowed agents to keep people, uh, you know, to stem the tide and keep them in Mexico, basically. But, you know, I'm looking at the list and, and it's interesting because you had... Well, this one is from February of 2017. You had many executive orders where the president was trying to attack this with a wall, with with keeping people not just south of the border, but also looking at their belongings <laughs> and seeing who was doing what and looking at. I mean, I'm just wondering when I hear people say you got to wait for Congress to make this. Why could Trump do some things by executive action and order, but President Biden cannot? And when I look at the leadership, I mean, if I'm my orcas today and I've failed as often as he has, I'm saying to President Trump, you know, just do, I mean, to President Biden, do something, do something. I can't even really do my job. Now, he's accused of not doing his job at all, which is why they're having an impeachment inquiry. But I mean, there are things that this current president could be doing rather than getting a tan over the holiday and coming back and saying that Republicans won't give me more money. Yeah. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, the liberal media, it's funny you say that they just want to echo the Biden talking points. They finally have to cover the border. <clears throat> but watch how Caitlin Collins asked this question. Listen to the bias. In that interview, he which at the border, it's obviously a photo op. We've seen Democrats and Republicans do it. I mean, he accused President Biden of when he visited the border of being a photo op. But just the fact that they're not in Washington, where those negotiations are happening, talking to the lawmakers in the Senate, their colleagues in the Senate, about actually passing bills that would actually fix this. Because no matter what you talk about, what the president could do here, or, or our mayors or other people, it's really Congress that everyone looks to that, that time and time again doesn't actually do anything. And I shake my head. Right. There's Caitlin Collins yeah. whining to Jake Tapper that the House Speaker's on the border and not passing legislation in Washington. Watch, Caitlin. Maybe you didn't see it. Here's HR2. We'll scroll up for you while Ben answers the question. Here you go. Restarting construction of the border wall. They passed it. Reestablished remain in Mexico. They've done this, Caitlin. Do your homework, Ben. Yeah. You, you, Democrats, I love how they say it's a, it's a press op, right? This is a PR stunt. 
When there is a crisis, we expect our leaders to go and see that crisis, whether it's in a small town or it's something like we're witnessing at the southern border. But this is a crisis that can fundamentally change this country. There's also a human aspect of this. There are a hundred plus thousand young children you that go. have gone missing in this country right now that the Department of Homeland Security does not know where they are, who have gone through and been processed and they cannot find them. They're being, many of them are being abused. Many of them are being sexually abused. Many of them are being trafficked. And Mayorkas is not doing his job, which is exactly why you should actually have this impeachment. On top of those that are coming across the border on the terrorist watch list, they had more last year than the last five years combined. This administration is a crisis, and they're saying, we know about it, we're okay with it. Yeah, Emily. Yeah, that's right. And I have to point out, as you scrolled HR2, that's exactly what Speaker Johnson referenced and, and answered your point, too, where he said, take it up with the, with the Senate, who refused to even take up this yeah. House-passed bill. So when we have this whining from the left, it was all there in front of you. And what he pointed out was so, I love how he speaks because it's so clear and fundamental. He said, we know what works, and it's not rocket science. And that's exactly right. And he said it's unconscionable. He said this is madness. I thought his descriptions down there at the border was so apt when he said it's heartbreaking and infuriating at the same time. And I have to point out this, because this is what struck me, that the Eagle Pass Fire Department spends $21,000 a day on migrant-related emergencies. They have spent $2.2 million thus far since mid-September, and they have an annual budget of 6.3. Wow. They're not reimbursed by the federal government. And think about who's not getting those funds, those who live in the town. That is the headline. Horrible. Dr. Sapphire. I mean, you have to wonder what the agenda is right now because it seems that Governor Abbott is the one who has regard for human life. When you have 99% of all fentanyl coming across the southwest border, mm -hmm. over 75,000 Americans dying from fentanyl poisoning every single year, Governor Abbott is realizing that the federal government is completely failing their constitutional obligation to prevent invasion into our country. Therefore, the states are trying to intervene because we are in a state of emergency. Yeah, it's such a sad situation and fixable. Just pass the border bill passed by the House and the Senate president signed the law. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.